Hi friends of cocktails! In today's episode I'll show you how to make a cocktail I created in the honor of the greatest Slovenian poet Franci Prešerni, who was born on December 3rd, 220 years ago. Because he was known to hand out dried figs to children, who called him Dr. Fig, we'll make today homemade fig liquor and mix it with bitters and wine. But before we start, I'll read the beginning of the poem from which the Slovenian national anthem is also taken. The poem is very fittingly titled Zdrolica, or in English, a toast. Spetrte so rodile, prijatljivince nam sladko, ki nam uživlja žile, srce razjasni in oko, ki utopi, vse skrbi, v trtih prsih ubudi. Franci Prešern perfected the art of creating a rhyme, but I'm no poet, so let's start. It's cocktail time. Not only is today the birthday of Slovenia's greatest poet, but also of the world's greatest mom. Vse ne boljše, mami. She doesn't know I'm adding this, so hopefully this is a nice surprise. I wish you all the best and I hope that you are having an awesome birthday. I'm probably with you right now since this isn't life. Anyway, let's make the cocktail. Let's start with the fig liquor. We'll start with 200 grams of dried figs, which will be reconstituted in boiling hot water for 10 minutes. Dried figs were something of a rare commodity at the beginning of the 19th century, so the kids would always be happy to get this precious fruit, which Prešeren was said to carry in a small pouch. After 10 minutes, drain the figs, but make sure to keep the water, because we'll use some of it for the dilution of our liqueur. And just like we did for the homemade coffee liqueur in the revolver episode, the fig liqueur will also be made with sous vide. Quarter the figs and place them in a sous vide bag. These bags can be used several times, just make sure to really give them a good wash. I did the same thing with the one I used for the pineapple cordial for the Ron Collins episode. Add 100 grams of sugar before adding the vodka of your choice. 200 ml or 6 and 3 quarters of an ounce will be just right. Sous vide is French for under vacuum, which also means that while we cook it, there won't be any dilution. So add 140 grams of the thick water we saved from before. That's the ratio that will give us a wonderfully rich fruity liqueur. Carefully seal the bag and create a vacuum, but make sure to stop before any liquid starts squirting out. Place the bag in the water bath with the immersion circulator set to 60 degrees Celsius on 140 Fahrenheit. Set the timer to 5 hours. While you wait, go read some poetry. When was the last time I did that? Let me know in the comments who's the greatest writer or poet in your country. I would love to hear about the culture of people watching cocktail time around the world. And since 5 hours pass here on the set, let's check out our liquor. We'll take the bag out of the water bed and leave it to cool to room temperature. And then, because we have the time and really want to give the fix, sugar and the alcohol plenty of time, as binging with Babish would say, to get to know each other, we leave the bag in the fridge for additional 12 hours. After that, cut open the bag and filter its contents through a cheesecloth. The leftover figs can then also be used to make a delicious fig jam, but that's for another channel. We have a cocktail to make. First, give it a try. Then, bottle and label your homemade fig liqueur. It has a rich fruity flavor and it's just sweet and strong enough to make a great addition to our cocktail. I think Dr. Fick would like this liquor very much. The cocktail we make today will be served with our own work of art. A chocolate brush inside the glass. So get your glass and chocolate ready and let's start. Take a small amount of dark chocolate, it should be at least 70% cocoa, and place it in a bowl. We'll place that in another bowl, partly filled with water, that we heat it up so the chocolate melts on indirect heat. That way we'll make sure the chocolate doesn't burn. Once it's nice and melted, get a brush and paint a strip of chocolate inside the glass. This will slowly melt into the cocktail itself as we drink it.
but we don't want that to happen too fast, so let's place the glass in the freezer. Well before you start making the cocktail, but because we already have one in there, so let's begin. We'll make a stirred low ABV cocktail that we want to chill without diluting too much. So the first thing we need is a well chilled mixing glass. Dump the ice and start adding the ingredients. We'll start with 15 ml or half an ounce of homemade fig liqueur. Keep your homemade liqueur away from sunlight, fridge is the best option, and they should be good for up to a year. You'll probably use them before that. Next, to add a bit of citrus note, one dash of homemade orange bitters. You can check out my bitters episode to see how we made them. Francis Precherne was known as a heavy drinker, and his drink of choice was wine, so I picked wine Riesling as the base of our cocktail. I'm using Marcus wine Riesling from a local winemaker, Vina Frischer, which has 7 generations worth of winemaking experience dating back to 1832. We'll add 75 ml or 2.5 ounces. Then add plenty of ice and give our cocktail a quick and thorough stir. We want to chill it without diluting it too much. In the meantime, get your chilled and garnished glass from the freezer. And that's how I make a Dr. Fig cocktail. Let's give it a taste. You get a hint of chocolate before the first sip. The cocktail we made is a light and fruity combination of the dry wine and the sweet fig liqueur with a slight bitter orange aftertaste of the homemade bitters. If you like wine, you'll love this cocktail. The chocolate on the inside of the glass will slowly start to melt and add even more aroma and a slight bittersweet component which works great with all the ingredients. You really enjoy this wherever you drink it, but the best place to have it would be at the beautiful Prescheren Square in the heart of Slovenia's capital city of Ljubljana. The bronze statue of Franci Prescheren is facing in the direction of his unfulfilled love and his muse, Julia Primitz. When you're able to travel again, Ljubljana offers a great cultural experience, as well as some very good cocktail bars. If you need any help, just let me know. I'll see you next week, but before we finish, enjoy today's bloopers, and then watch some other cocktail time videos. Cheers! While you wait, go with some. Is this it? Take. Take. Sorry. Take. Not only is today the birthday of the group for. For the group. This is the end of the video. If you want to see more cocktail recipes and more bloopers, check this out. And think about subscribing. Thanks for watching.